Hi and welcome back to Larand Gaming and if you are new to the channel, welcome. I, I am Larand and uh, yes, today, today it's time to check out the shark force field. You know, the index item that you can get from fishing around all the way here in the ocean. <laughs> so let's get started. And uh, yes, here it is. Take a look at it. This is before it's actually enabled. So this is just by holding it in your hand. I do a little bit of free camera. So just see up close how it looks like. It's a very cool sphere. I like that model. <laughs> really cool. Simplistic, but still very complex, I would say. And when you enable it. It looks like this. It becomes larger, but you still hold this item in your hand. So it just enables like a copy of this one, but it's larger and it's pretty cool. And this is what it looks like from the inside when you are maneuvering it. It's a little bit of a special feeling. It blocks basically part of the visibility, but that's, uh, well, that's pretty much as <laughs> expected. But uh, yeah pretty nice effect and something I think is really cool and special when it comes to this shark force field is that this index item is actually a real item <laughs> that uh, needs to replace something down here in the toolbar so when you get this one and you have everything else you need to prioritize and make a decision what should I unequip because you have the rod, you have the spear, you have a creature locator, you have the fish master, you have a torch, and you have the orb. I know many would just remove the torch, but uh, in my case, I do chase a lot of chests. I prefer to have a little bit of extra light, especially in dark areas during nighttime. So I always have a torch. So I have in this case replaced the fish master with this shark force field because the creature locator, those are always nice to have. But uh, yeah, so that is something that you need to keep in mind. But I do think many <laughs> or the most would just remove the torch. That's totally up to you, of course. And this is also what it looks like when you glide around with the shark force field. <laughs> looks kind of cool. So keep that in mind when you do fish index rewards. I mean, Port Jackson, you have a rod. It replaces the rod. Eruption Island, you replace a backpack. Shadow Island, you replace it with another spear. Ancient Shore, that's just another rod. Barrow Dunes, yeah, you get a new boat. And uh, yeah, and Monsters Burrow, you get another boat again. But Ocean, it doesn't replace the rod, boat, spear or anything. This is a brand new kind of item. That makes it very, very special. And uh, yeah, while I have it also selected here, this is my progress. I've been working a little bit on it, so I'm pretty close. But what is uh, what I think is time consuming when it comes to fishing in the ocean is that there are so many different kinds of fish and there's also two mythic species of fish which makes everything a little bit more challenging of course because as you can see if you fish like discus uh, you see as for yourself I have the most I do like two mythic lows and that's all but when I go into something like the sea bear uh, sure I, I have a few down here but then all of a sudden it starts to be pretty well yeah you see for yourself I do lack a lot so it's a huge imbalance when it comes to my own progress so the most challenging fishes those are the ones that remains as always and it's a little bit of a lessons learned for me because uh, when i move on to the next zone next time i do this uh, i will start to focus on the most challenging things right away because those are the ones that will keep taking the most time so I would say I would go with more rarity so I get a better chance of getting the mythic fishes right away uh, because while I try to do that I believe I will get the most other fishes so that's a little bit something that I, I need to do so how does it work then well let me show you first of all we're gonna track down a shark and I'm gonna use the narwhal right now so I don't get attacked so we have something down here the sharks won't attack me because of the narwhal but uh, if I jump down just normally you will see that this shark will start attacking me as always and we have two sharks maybe even three sharks so if I enable the shark force field now in this situation let's see what happens as you can see, they're no longer interested in me. So I'm basically safe. And this one, it looks a little bit weird. You see this one? But that's the actual item itself that I'm holding. So it shows 
<laughs> it shows like this when I swim. A little bit confusing. But uh, this force field, will it repel the shark? No, it won't. And as you could see, I took damage. It doesn't protect me. It's not really a force field. It just makes me safe from shark attacks. So if I touch the shark... Ah, you see. I died. <laughs> so the force field is not really a force field. It's just a graphic visual effect. It prevents you from being attacked. And uh, yeah, that was sharks. And it says shark force field. And I know, of course, that there are questions. Will it protect you from orcas? Well, let's go find out. So down here somewhere we have orcas. Let's go down. Uh, here we have them. I'm gonna enable. No, that's not the one. Now I'm gonna enable the force field. Let's see what happens. They stopped attack me right away. As you can see, they go down again. <laughs> they, they think I became boring. But uh, just like uh, shark situation, if I start to touch the orcas, let's see if I can try to touch the orca with the force field. Yeah, so I still take damage from the tail and I die again. So not really a force field, but it prevents you from being attacked. And that is basically what you also have from the narwhal, because it won't attack you because of the narwhal. And the same goes with this garden boat that is way cheaper, I would say. And it has the same kind of behavior, basically. And by knowing that this is just a visual effect and it just protects you from being attacked from sharks and orcas, yeah, of course, you cannot protect others by jumping into the water and just rely on the force field to protect others. So uh, that is also very important to know because it, it just protects you and no one else from being attacked. What is also good to know, just like Monsters Burrow, the shark force field doesn't require you to do any SFA quests, basically. So when you fish around in the ocean, there are no special fishing areas regarding the ocean. So hmm, I saw the chest, but yeah, okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, that's basically a good thing to know. So if you don't like doing these quests, which is, by the way, not that difficult anymore, it's uh, still very easy just to go out in the ocean and fish. If you want to be alone when fishing in the ocean, try to be more on the west side of the map, because here you don't have orcas or sharks. I would say somewhere in between the pyramid and Port Jackson. That's a pretty cool place. Or behind any one of these islands, that works also. So now we're gonna make a little test, because uh, knowing that sharks won't attack you, uh, I'm gonna go and visit an epic shipwreck. We have it down here, and yeah, I'm using the narwhal right now, because it's gonna be easier to just showcase what I'm trying to do. And uh, as you can see, we have a shark here, and since I'm not really affecting them, I'm gonna just put a marker on the map. Roughly like that. Do you have a marker here now? And uh, by doing this, I know where I have spotted it once. And we have the second shark down here. As you can see from the first marker and where I'm located right now. Uh, it's gonna be, I would say, the shipwreck is gonna be in this region, basically. Because the sharks, they are guarding this shipwreck. Uh, and uh, we're gonna just uh, jump down, basically, with the shark force field enabled. I'm gonna forget about the sharks. This is just to chase shipwrecks because they are pretty time consuming so i'm gonna dive right down here right at the border or the end of the circle so somewhere in this region so i can turn it off yeah and as you can see here we have the shipwreck i can enable the shark force field again just so i'm i'm not getting attacked from behind but uh, from this first marker on the map comparing it to where the sharks went somewhere in between like an average, that's where I found this shipwreck. So it's a pretty efficient method actually, when it comes to getting epic and mythic shipwrecks. And those are the ones that you really want to get. You can either just put a new marker now on the map. You can see the sharks here. <laughs> they are interested. But if I put a new marker, then I know where this shipwreck is. So now I can go and kill off the sharks because if I take the chest without killing the sharks, I will lose the sharks. And then I won't get the loot from the sharks. And, uh, well, maybe you want to have that as well. 
So now you have taken the sharks and now I'm just gonna swim to the marker again where the shipwreck is and see what we get. Oh, that's a thousand coins. That's a bad shipwreck. Worst you can get. <laughs> Thank you. So let's go back up to the surface and over there we have the loot. I'm not gonna take the loot, I think. No shark eggs this time either. Those are hard. But regardless, that's one way how you can actually take epic shipwrecks and mythic shipwrecks using this shark force field. So it's pretty efficient actually. And yeah, sure, I have a narwhal right now. But if you approach this all by yourself with a different boat, just jump into the water, enable this one. The sharks and orcas will go back to where it came from. And that will be nearby the shipwreck. So just because I had the narwhal right now. Yeah that was just convenient for me of course. But uh, otherwise just enable it. Jump into the water. Let the sharks and orcas reset themselves. So they get closer to the shipwreck. Mark it up on the map. And I think you're pretty much good to go. And you will find the shipwreck much easier. So let's go test out shark force field against Mubu. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> that, that that didn't <laughs> that didn't work. So force field enabled. Let's see what happens. Doesn't seem to attack me actually. Did I break Mubu? <laughs> I think I broke Mubu. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. I'm down in the water. And we'll be swimming away right now. Where did Mubi go? I'm not being very successful with uh, Mubi right now. And I lost my boat. Great. So let's see. Bring up a new boat. We're gonna go up here, unlock the gate, run over here, enable or activate, back to the boat, and here we go. But this time I'm gonna I'm gonna hit it once, just so I know that it's angry on me. So here we have it, one hit, perfect, and uh, we're gonna use the force field. What you gonna do about it? <laughs> Come on, Mubi. Let's see. So we're gonna swim. Where does he go? Is he leaving again? I think he is. I heard Mubi over here. I hear the sound. Oh, here it is. And it's... Uh... Yeah, it's not really... <laughs> it's not really enjoying the force field, apparently. So it's trying to escape the world map. I'm gonna dive down and see how how he feels, <laughs> but uh, did he despawn or did he just reset? Let's check it out. So if he did reset, he's gonna be over here again. And uh, no, he's not here. So I think he has actually despawned. And we're gonna check the gate. So if the gate is closed, that means he is gone. And yeah, the gate is closed. So my conclusion is if you have the shark force field, don't use it against Mubi. You will not be a winner, I promise you. <laughs> you will most likely break Mubi. That's at least what I think. Yeah, so out of three tests that I did, none worked. So stay away with the force field from Mubi, at least as for now. So, what do I think about this shark force field? Well, <laughs> it's not really an item that I'm gonna use against sharks and orcas when I go hunt. And it doesn't serve a purpose at all against Mubi. So, it's not really something that I will use. However, it's a free item. I mean, you get it for free. It doesn't cost anything. You only have to fish and then it's yours. So, in that way, it's, it's really good. I mean, free items, always nice. It does require a lot of work, obviously. But the surprise, 
came when we started to chase shipwrecks, the epic and mythic shipwrecks, because then it's quite useful. I mean, being able to swim against sharks and orcas without them actually being able to attack you, that's perfect, because that will really help you to track down shipwrecks. I also used markers on the map, but that's also something that makes it a little bit easier to visualize when you do the video to all the viewers. So that's just like a visual aid, so I don't really use that marker myself. But uh, this could be very useful when you try to track them down at least. So if you are on a gem hunt and you do have the shark force field, that could really help. So yes, in any case, that was all I had for you today. That was fish index item from Ocean and the shark force field. If you do have any questions and comments about this, please put them below. Like this video if you would like to see more content from Fishing Simulator. Please subscribe and uh, yes, have a nice day. Bye everyone.